Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to draw an apple digitally using Klecky. I'm going to start off with my shape tool and I'm going to turn down my opacity. I want it more of, as a sketch, so I want my lines to be like maybe a lighter gray color. Then I can see my color right over here. Okay. That, and I kind of want a thin line. That looks good right there. Now I want to switch to the brush and the pen tool. Again, going to turn down my opacity. And now I'm going to refine my drawing to make it look more like an apple shape. You know what? See how that line was not very clean and kind of um, messy? I'm going to undo that and I'm going to change the stabilizer. So if I make it to a four, it'll probably be much better. Yep, now I feel like I have much more control. And I'm going to make the bottom of the apple um, more curved. Perfect, I got my apple shape. Now I can erase the areas that I don't need anymore. So now I'm taking my eraser tool. And I'm just gonna erase any areas that I don't need. I'm gonna make my eraser a little bit smaller to get into this little area. I don't want to erase too much of my lines. Uh-oh, see how I accidentally erased too much of my line? I'm gonna try that again. Just gotta be really careful in these areas. Okay, I'd say that looks pretty good. The last thing I want to add to my sketch is um, a stem. And a leaf. My leaf got a little funky right there. Let's try that line again. Much better. Okay. Next, I want to uh, um, I want to choose my light source. So depending which direction I want my shadow to go, I'm just going to add a little light source up here. So I'm going to give it a <laughs> a quick little. A little sun um, so I know exactly where my light source is coming from okay now that I know where my light source is I can start applying values to my apple so I know that my shadow is going to be down here. So that means the darkest area of my apple is going to be on this side and it's gradually going to get lighter um, as it's more directly under the sun. <clears throat> um, let's maybe do a green apple. Why not? So if I want to do a green apple, I'm starting with a really dark green down here. And I'm going to I want like a medium sized brush tool so I can quickly fill in a large amount of area. Maybe in the 50s. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Opacity, I want to keep it in the 50 or 60. Okay, now let me start coloring these areas in. Go 
go back and get this tiny area that I missed earlier. Okay, so now I have my dark area. So now I want to start gradually making um, lighter values. So I'm just going to come up here, grab one of these lighter greens. Okay, and then now I'm going to go even higher up and find an even lighter green. And I'm just going to color in the rest of my apple this color green. Cool, now I see that I missed this little area. So I'm just gonna go ahead and color that area in a little bit better. There we go. All right, now lastly, I need a highlight. So I'm gonna take maybe like a yellowy white color And I'm just gonna add my highlight in right here. Nice. Okay, next I want to color in the stem and the leaf. So I'm gonna zoom in a bit here. Just cause the stem is so small, I really wanna have a good view of that. And notice I, I clicked on this hand tool to be able to drag um, my image wherever I want it to go. Okay, so I got that in a good area. Now I'm gonna go back to my brush and I'm gonna select a brown color. My brush size needs to be pretty small. I'm gonna turn the opacity up just a bit right here. That looks better. And even in the small areas, the values still apply. So I'm not gonna fill this in all one color brown. I'm actually gonna take a lighter brown now because I want it to follow the same rules as the values on this part of my apple. Sweet. Now I just need to color in my leaf. Hmm. Let's see. What color green do I want? Maybe more of like a yellow green. Somewhere over here. Yeah, that might look good. And I want it to kind of start turning even more yellow. Okay, so I have every area colored in. I'm gonna zoom out so you can see that. What I need to do next now is a blend. So I'm going to click on this tool, my blend tool, and I'm gonna make my blend, my blending number all the way to 100. In my opacity, I'm gonna lower it a bit. And then my brush size, um, Maybe like the 60s, 50s or 60s for now. Okay, so now I'm going to go to these very harsh lines and I'm just going to go and start blending them. 
side to side. And I'm gonna go to this really harsh line over here. Now I'm gonna make my brush a little smaller. Just gonna kind of smooth it out. Get everything nice and blended. Okay, I want to clean up this area just a little bit. So I'm going to get my eraser tool. Nice. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so I need to maybe clean up this area as well. Much better. Okay, so now I need to blend this area. Back to my blend tool. Need a much smaller size. And I'm just gonna blend the stem. I need to up the opacity just a little bit if I'm not seeing enough of a blend effect. Okay, now I wanna blend my leaf. Hmm, not getting too much of an effect there, so I'm going to up the opacity. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Now let's zoom out. Mm, the leaf still is just not blended enough, in my opinion. So let's really up the opacity and see what happens. Maybe even make the blend size larger. Here we go, yay! That's the effect I was looking for. Wow, so much better. Cool, okay. Nice, so now my the last thing I need is my shadows. And notice I say shadows because there's actually gonna be two that I'm going to include on here because the stem is gonna require a little shadow right here, and then the apple's gonna require a shadow of its own. So we'll start with the stem. So it's gonna be maybe, probably like a really dark brown, almost black, probably like this color down here. Go back to my pen tool. Make sure my brush size is the correct size. And then I'm just going to Draw in a little shadow right there. Hmm, that might be a little too dark. Let me try a little bit lighter and I don't, I think I wanna lower my opacity. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, I think that's better. Cool, that looks like a pretty good shadow. So now I need the shadows down here for the apple. I'm gonna make my brush size larger. And remember, shadows closest to the object uh, are much darker and then they gradually get lighter as they go out. So my shadow's going this direction. 
Oops. Well, hmm, they kind of like, nah, okay, I'll undo that. I'm gonna try to not get it on the apple this time. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and lower the opacity. Okay, I'm gonna lower the opacity even more because I want my color to be getting lighter and more transparent as it's further away. All right. Hmm. I feel like the shape of my shadow is kind of funky. What did I do wrong? Maybe it went too far down. Maybe I can erase some of it. And I feel like it's not sitting quite where I want it to be. Oops. Okay, that looks better. So now I just wanna blend my shadow out a little bit more. Okay, I think I'm about done. Let's zoom out. All right, I think that came out pretty good. Cool, I'll just give my little initials in the corner. Oops, with a much darker color. I don't know. Oh, because the opacity's down. Duh. All right, I figured it out. Okay. Ending with my initials. All done. Yay. So now. I would take a screenshot because sometimes Klecky has some issues with saving if we don't do it correctly. So take a screenshot. And then also try saving it. So go to file and then save, and then it should download for you to your computer. All right, awesome.